Hello, welcome to RC Video Reviews. Today I'm going to show you how to compile what I would consider to be experimental versions of ExpressLRS for your receivers and transmitters. Now here's why I'm going to show you how to do this. Right now there's a project out there on GitHub that has enabled SBUS for ExpressLRS on the receiver. So if you take a look at my little monitor here, this is a Toolkit MC8 and I've got a Maytech R24D. This is an ExpressLRS receiver. So I'll just move my sticks on the radio now, and you can see that I've got SBUS output on this monitor. Now, it may be some time before this code is actually pulled into the main line, and you may want to do some testing. And then additionally, as ExpressLRS evolves, there may be feature sets out there you'd like to try out on your own. That's why I'm showing you how to do this. Now, before I get into the content, I've got two quick caveats. The first one is that this is experimental. Don't use what you're about to see on a production airplane. Do it for bench testing or to see what's happening in development. The second second one is that because this is a fairly advanced topic, I cannot get into answering basic questions about file management and archive management and stuff like that. So if you're not familiar with basic computer operation, this probably is not the right subject for you and I would advise you to skip over it. With that out of the way, let's get into the material. The first thing you need to do is make sure you've got Express LRS Configurator downloaded and installed. I'll have links in the description if you're not sure where to get it, but it's easy to find on GitHub under the Express LRS project. Just look for the configurator. The current version as of this video is 1.5. 0.5. So download the copy you need. They've got Mac, they've got Linux, they've got Windows, all kinds of different versions. Figure out which one you need, download it and install it. The next thing you need to do is find a branch of code that you want to fiddle around with. The one that has the working SBUS and the UI to go with configuring the SBUS is on Paul Kendall's GitHub. It's pkendall64, and he's got this branch RX serial refactor. So that's the important part. You can't just clone the main GitHub source. You've got to find the project that you're interested in and the branch. So Paul's branch is RX serial refactor, and you can see that in the URL up here. I'll also include a link to this GitHub branch in the description for you as well. But once you've found a project that you want to work with, under this green code box, click the button and click download zip. There are plenty of other ways to do this. You can also do it via git on the command line. There are plenty of options here, but this is a real simple one because you just download an archive. I have this particular browser set to put my downloads on the desktop, so this folder just appeared. I'm going to open that folder up and I'm simply going to hit extract all. I'm just going to put it right on the desktop and let it extract on the desktop. Okay, so now we've got our source code from GitHub. We can put the browser away and the file away. The next thing we need to do is switch over to the configurator and we need to tell the configurator where our software that we just downloaded is. So on the configurator, you'll slide over from official releases all the way over here to local. So click on local and then hit choose folder. And you wanna make sure you pick the one where you unpacked your archive. In my case, I put it on the desktop in this Express LRS RX Serial Refactor folder, and you wanna pick on Source. That's the folder you wanna use. Click Source, and then from there, you can go down and choose your device target. In my case, I wanna make a Maytech R24D, so I'll choose Maytech, and then for device, R24D. Once you've selected your device category and your device, you can choose your options just like you would in a normal configurator build. In this case, I'll select Wi-Fi. I'll pick the regulatory domain ISM 2400. I've got my binding phrase in there, all the other options that you can use. And once you're happy with your options, just click on build. And what's going to happen is it's going to build a binary based on the source that you just pulled down. Once the build is done, you get a little pop-up and you can see I've got a Matec R24D binary that now includes SBUS. That's the same binary I actually flashed onto this receiver just a little while ago. There you go. Now you know how to compile experimental firmware for Express LRS so you can try out new features as they come. Remember what I told you though, don't put this stuff in a production plane unless you're willing to risk it. Let the developers do their job and test everything out thoroughly. And when they release it, then you should be pretty safe to use it in production. Hope you liked the video. If you did, subscribe and hit the bell, YouTube should be recommending another one for you right now. That's all I've got for today. Take it easy and go fly something.